Right, so welcome everyone to strength and conditioning. Um, yeah, great. So we'll get started with the warm up workout, probably a full body workout. Um, I know some people may able to watch the video yesterday, um, but we're we'll going the full body workout. So um, yeah, and then we'll cool down. So again, if you guys do have any requests on movements that you guys want to work on, just let me know. Um, but yeah, expect a full body workout, okay? So we'll go ahead and start just lifting left to right. Just gently. Up and down. down okay, more people show up welcome next circles and if you guys want to do a little bit of cardio let me know we could do those sets where we do five or six exercises strength exercises, strength and conditioning, and then maybe one cardio in there. So we can do that too, reverse. And let's go ahead and grab a hold of our right side. Allow that arm to stretch out that left side of the neck. Switch. Some arm circles. Reverse. Single arm windmills. Arms are a little tired. I just today was our first day of tennis class, and yeah, I mean, just swinging the racket back and forth. Let's see my arms out a little bit. Reverse. Switch. Step reverse. Right, trunk rotations, Just left to right. right let's go with ab circles, so wide stands. Stand left and then cut across, come back.
We'll do about three more on each side. All right, let's go with big hula hoops. So again, wide stance, and then just big hip circles. Switch. One. All right, let's go with hip openers. So drive your knee forward, out, down. Just working on a little bit of balance. About two more on each side. Very good. Okay, let's go ahead and do some leg swings. So find the counter and we'll start left to right. 15 on each leg. Switch. All right, now leg swings back and forth. We'll switch. Right, very good. Okay, let's go to the quad stretch. Just a couple more. Pull back on that ankle. Anna, welcome everyone. Let's keep on holding that for a few more seconds. And right out all of a sudden. Switch. All right, and the last one's a deep squat stretch. So just deep squat, drop down. Just drop your hips down, chest up. Let's rise. 
All righty. Great. Okay, so do people want a little bit of cardio or do you guys just want strength and conditioning strictly? Some feedback. And then let me just put the poll real quick so you could tell me the effort that you like for today. All right. You only gave us one choice. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, Terry? Oh, the only choice I saw on my screen was let's get at it today. <laughs> oh, really? No. Yeah. Are you on your phone? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, there's three options. Most people says I could go hard or easy. One person says, can we take it easy? All right. I'm with the take it easy fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No worries. All right. So there you go. So, okay. So let's do this. Let's let's start off easy and then see how we're feeling. And then um, we'll transition from there. So, um, so we'll do that. So with that being said, um, since we're going to start off easy, grab a, grab a chair. Let's do some movements that just require us to be in the chair. Okay. All right. All right, and if you, uh, we will go just, you know, I guess um, body weight right now. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna go with just wall glides. It's gonna activate our shoulders a little bit more, just focus on the shoulders. I feel like my camera's crooked. So we're gonna go up and down just here. Like if we're up against the wall, just gliding. Yeah, Julian was cranky last night. Yeah, he went back to his one month old days where he was waking up every two hours. I'm like, really, man? Like on the on the day I have to go back to work on campus, you have to do this to me. So okay. And then now we're gonna go ahead and just do some shoulder side raises. Again, just the weight of our arm. You're gonna fatigue a little bit right now. Yeah, I always look forward to this summer class that I have um, on campus. It's a tennis class. Now let's go front, straight down the forward, um, because it's a beginning tennis class. So I never played tennis for any teams. I just, um, my cousin played in high school for a year or two. And then on the weekends, sometimes my older sister and her would play. And then um, I just played with my older sister. So I learned from someone who learned from someone. And um, and yeah, and I just picked it up. And I, I guess this, you know, about five, six years ago. Oh, good. Very good. So now we're going to go with the chest compressions. So again, just here. And then press. Hold for about three seconds. Then drop. Okay, we're going to do that 10 times. So yeah, so, you know, again, I'm, I'm just kind of cruising around, you know, and um, and one of the assistants of the department was like, hey, have you ever played tennis? I'm like, yeah, casually, but, you know, I'm not no expert. And she's like, would you, you think you could teach a tennis class? And then I'm like, yeah, I, I think I can. I mean, I know how to teach here and there and, you know, so. She gave me about a two weeks heads up and I went to the local library. This was like back in 2015. And I went to um, yeah, the library and I got three books on how to teach five-year-olds how to play tennis. And um, so I just grabbed those books and got ideas from that. And um, yeah, so that was kind of like how I started teaching this um, recreational tennis class at, at the college. And it was kind of like the same basic, you know, components that you would teach a five-year-old. Um, so, yeah, so it's always beginners, um, tennis players. And today was, was our first day. And there's this kid that just, like, 
you know, like just like he's been doing it for years. And um, I saw him um, play and, and they're like, oh, you played before. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I do this often. And um, there we go. Let's stretch our performance a little bit before we move on with the more challenging ones. And um, yeah, so he was just like, um, what are we going to learn tomorrow? I'm like, you're probably going to teach me something because, <laughs> you know, he's out there swinging, um, looking like a pro. So, so it should be fun. My, grandma, grand, my granddaughter's taking tennis. She's six, and she loves it. Oh, yeah. This guy that teaches her, and, and she just looks so forward to going. Screen that, yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, it's it, it's cool just to, like, just hit the balls back and forth. And, you know, I told them, too, that it's one of those sports that, you know, not that, like, everyone knows how to play, but I feel like it's one of those networking sports where, you know, sometimes you could go with, like, a coworker, even if they've never played before, or uh, maybe your boss or someone. And, um, you know, just like golf, sometimes you could just be good at it or be terrible, but you could still do it. And it's slow pace. Well, it could be slow pace. Um, so, yeah, I used to play with my old college coach. So, let's bring that knee up. All right, let's go grab some dumbbells. Okay, we're gonna work on our arms now. So I have my dump dumbbells here. And we're gonna go with the Arnold press, okay? So we're gonna hit, well actually since we're starting off easy, let's go with hammer curls. So hammer curls, you have the dumbbells in front of you, your palms should be facing each other. We're just gonna do hammer curls right here. So let's do 12 of these. So we went back to the movies on Sunday, which is like new for us, might be our new thing. But we went to go see Top Gun, so you guys have seen the original one. Um, this one, I think it's just as good. Um, it's really good, it has a really good story. So you guys are thinking, Father's Day gift, take them to go see Top Gun. Okay, very good. All right, next we're gonna do with the same dumbbells. We're just gonna keep them at our side and we're gonna do shoulder shrugs. Okay, so bringing those shoulders up and then down. One way down. Let's do, we're gonna do some door openers. We usually do this in our mobility and flexibility class, um, but we're gonna do this with the dumbbell here. So we're just gonna go in and out. I think my mom's singing to Julian right now. Real loud, I could hear her. <laughs> and it's funny because then she forgets the lyrics and then she just starts humming the tune. So that's what she's doing right now. Switch. You guys haven't seen him in a bit, huh? I'll bring him up to the first set, see if he's up. It's cute now because now all he does is smile. If he's not crying, he's smiling. Just like, <laughs> you know, there's no in between. All right, 
Awesome. We're gonna go with back rows. So single arm back rows. So this one, I have my chair here. I'm just gonna use my chair to hold me up. Back straight, so remember, don't be slouched. Keep your back straight, strong hips, all the way down, and bring that elbow up. Fully extend down. Two, three, four, The weight feels light, go for 12. Switch. Awesome. All right. Move your arms, move your back, move your chest. Now, before we transition to the floor, actually, let's go to the floor. Now we're going to do our abs. Okay. So we'll go with hundreds. And then it just disappears. Like hundred, so just recline back, legs elevated, and we're gonna pump for 45 seconds. Okay, you guys are ready. Three, two, one, and go. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, time. Okay, all right. Next one, let's get on our side. We're gonna do clamshells. If you have the loop bands, you can put those around your knees or right above your knees. Okay, so let's go ahead, bring those knees in. And then we're going to separate at the knees, keeping your feet together, hip over hip, as wide as you can go, and then back down. Okay, so each of these should take you about five to eight seconds. And then just make sure those knees open up as much as you can. You should put it on the side of your leg. Eight to ten of these. All right. Once you're done, you're going to switch sides. Awesome. All right, we're gonna go with bridges. 
once you're done, just get on your back like a sit up. And again, your hips come off the ground. You're going to squeeze the glutes for about three seconds before you bring them back down. Okay, so you're going to bring them up, squeeze, and then back down. Let's do 10 of those. Ready? Okay, go. Awesome. All right, from this position here, we can do calf raises. It's gonna be a little bit challenging. So I want you to lift your heels off the ground, then down. So your hips have to come off the ground a little bit, not like the full bridge, just slightly, and then heels come up and down. This will make those come up and down. Okay, let's do 12 to 15 of those. Ready? Here you go. Try to hold for about two seconds up top before you drop. Awesome. All right, that's our first set. I think today, if we can, we'll get somewhere between three to four sets. All right, so we got some water. Let me go see if this baby's up. I'll bring him real quick. Oh my. Oh. God. He's so cute. cute. Oh my goodness. He's so cute. He's gorgeous. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, Julian. <laughs> Julian. Look at the eyebrows. He's really studying you. <laughs> what is that? Huh? Hi. Oh, you've gotten big. Hey, hi. Hi. <laughs> How old is he now? Hey, baby. Hi, How old is he now? He's um, he'll be four months on the twenty seventh. June. Yeah. Oh, he's bored. Hi. He's so cute. Hi. Smile. Hi. You're a deep ball. He's a deep ball. Yeah, he's so intrigued. He's so adorable. <laughs> Oh my God! How precious! Oh, precious. <laughs> oh too fast. Yeah, he's a cutie. He's yeah. a cutie. Yeah. Say hi. <laughs> he's shy right now. You want to know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is that? He has no idea what he's looking at. <laughs> he can hear. We're not, we're not giving him any screen time, so he's like, "Ooh, I like this." 
<laughs> oh, the screen time, yeah. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. <He's> just... <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Huh? Eyes are closed. <laughs> yeah, he's totally curious. <laughs> All right, they, they have to go back to working out. All right, Julian. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Not walking yet. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah, I know, right? It's going to start getting your equipment. Oh, you can see, huh? oh yeah, they get the equipment on barefoot to <laughs> pick up the kettlebells. Oh, fine. He will. All right, or climb. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. All right, Debbie, I see you. Debbie's ready. Let's go. All right. So let's go back to our dumbbells. Okay, this one we're going to start just to pick up the workout a little bit more. My wife was super excited because she saw, I forget on what app, um, some ladies selling like a ton of avocados for $60. But she just came back with the box and it ended up being 60 avocados. So it still wasn't like a bargain. It was like a dollar an avocado. But she was expecting twice as many. But happens with online stuff sometimes. All right, so we're going to go with this is for our shoulders. It's okay, so going to be, we've done these here. Okay, so now, again, so we've done this. Now we're going to go a little bit forward. Okay, so from here, it's going to be here. Like a forward front raise where you're slightly bent. Okay. So let's do that. She almost went at like a 45 degree angle in front of you. Make sure your back is straight. Relax for a second. Okay, we're gonna do on uh, a four. We're gonna hold at the top position for two seconds before we bring them back down. Okay, so it looks something like this. So here, one, two, down, one, two, down. Okay, so let's do four of those. Okay, you should feel that deep in the shoulders right there. Okay, so only four of those. All right, now we're gonna go with cross curls. So again, palms are facing the screen, and then coming to that opposite chest. So 12 of those on each arm.
Okay. All right. Okay. This next entire set, uh, the rest of that's going to be on the floor. Okay, so not that it's going to be easy because it's on the floor, but um, the rest of them are. Okay. So this one, we're going to go ahead. We did arms, shoulders. So now we're going to do chest. Okay. So for this one, we do need the dumbbells still. This one's going to be chest and triceps. Okay. So I'll try to. This is one of those that's a bit challenging to demonstrate uh, with not being with you guys live in person. Okay. So just um, watch first and then follow through. Okay. So you see my arms are right above me. So I'm going to rotate my shoulders back. Once I go pretty far, I'm going to drop my elbows. Okay. And then down and up. Okay, so it's a shoulder rotation first, and then elbows start dropping, and then extend elbows and back, okay? So the shoulder rotation is working on our chest, and now when we start dropping the weights down by bending our elbows, that's working on our triceps. Okay, so this is a pull over. It's two motions in one. Okay, so arms straight, shoulders are rotating. Then out, once we can't go any further, drop the elbows. And the dumbbells might hit the floor. So just keep that in mind. So this is one that you typically do on an elevated bench. We need to do four more. All right, very good. Awesome. Okay, now for our back, we're going to do Supermans, which you guys already know. Okay. So again, chest up, knees up, ready, okay, up. 40 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, down. All right, let's stretch. Let's do the um, back stretch. So put your hands, or actually, let's rest on our elbows. Yes, just stay down. Sorry, stay down. Let's rest on your elbows. Should be. Your chin, your face should be about an inch off the ground. I mean, an inch, I'm sorry, your foot. <laughs> you either have a long chin or <laughs> you're really close to the, the floor if you're an inch away. <laughs> All right, now we're going to put our hands where our elbows were and then push up. Ella, keep your hips down. There you go. So, yes, yeah, so we're just trying to keep that stretch. You're breathing. All right, and bring your hips back to your heels. Bring your glutes back to your heels.
and we'll erase that. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna go core. Okay, so we did hundreds. Now we're gonna go with Russian twist. Okay, Russian twist. Again, same positioning, but now we're focusing on the obliques a little bit more. So here, wait, and then alternating back and forth, okay? 45 seconds, okay, go. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one, time. Okay. All right, we're gonna get on the quadruped position back here. We're gonna put the weight. If you can't behind your knee, we're gonna do donkey kicks with the weight behind our knee. Again, the weight's right here. Should be comfortable. If it's not comfortable, then just remove that weight, but it should be comfortable. Okay, what we're gonna do is donk. So you're gonna just lift your heel up to grip it and then control that up and down. Okay, working on our lower back, our glutes. By lifting our heel and holding the weight, we're also working on our hamstring. Okay, and did 12, we're gonna switch sides. When you're ready, go ahead and begin. All right, awesome. Okay, so that was for our hamstring when we're back. Okay, the next one that we're gonna do is going to be, um, which ones? We're gonna do fire hydrants okay, for our adductors. So still here, and we're gonna bring that knee out and down. So 10 on each one. Ready, okay, go. You okay, try to pull that leg up, then knee up for about a second or two before you bring it back down. All right, once you've done 10, switch the sides. There you go. Awesome, all right, that's set number two. Okay, so we're gonna to try to get through. Um, I like to get four sets in if you can. We're about halfway through. Get some water, take about two minutes rest. Catch your breath. This next step might be the most challenging one. Coming up, so just get ready for it. So two minutes rest.
next step we'll have kind of like the top tier exercises or each muscle group. Eighty seconds left. Okay. All right, you guys are ready. Here we go. Okay. Set number three. We're gonna start off with Arnold press and bicep curl into a shoulder press. Okay, so curl, turn, press, down, up. Ready? Okay, go. We're doing 12. Make sure you breathe as you're extending your shoulders up. As you're pressing. I love when everyone has their cameras on. I think that most of my screen is on compared to the clothes that I have on. Terry, Miss Wynn, Ursula, come on. This could be the day where all the screens are on. All of these. When, when I brought Julian in, about half of you guys turn on your cameras. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So this might be a little bit burning now. Okay. Now, so that was bicep and shoulders. Okay. So now, one of the more taxing ones for our triceps are going to be dips. Okay. And go dips. Grab your chair. And I'm going to challenge you guys and have you guys start off maybe with one leg out or both legs out once you start getting tired and tuck in the legs for these we're going to do 12 of these go ahead all the way down Awesome, very good. Good, good, good. All right. We're gonna go with reverse seated flies far back. So this way you need to be seated near the edge of your chair because you need room underneath. We're gonna be just coming down. Dumbbells are here underneath. And I'm gonna try to Again, imagine that peanut in the center of your back and you're trying to crack it with your shoulder blades. You're just trying to crack it. You're doing this motion here. Almost trying to meet your elbows behind you. Let's do 12 to 15 of these.
Very good. All right. Quick, quick, quick. Let's get down. We have 12 push ups. This when you're ready, you can do knee assisted push ups if you want. We could start off with the original push ups and transition to knee assisted. Okay, so 12 of those. Ready? Okay, there you go. Awesome. That time should burn your chest a little bit. Okay, for core. Not done yet. Okay, for core, we're going to do accordions. Okay, so accordions, arms behind us, or if you're confident, you could keep your arms elevated and then just go in and out. Okay, otherwise, arms behind, out, in. Okay, 45 seconds. Three, two, one, okay, go. There you go, Ella. Ella's not using her hands. So again, just twenty five seconds. Fifteen. Five, four, three, 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 two, one, time. Woo. Woo. Okay. Now we get to relax a little bit. <laughs> Let's get on our side. We'll go with James Fondas. We'll add the heavy leg stuff on the last set. Okay, so this one was pretty heavy upper body. We'll do the last set heavy lower body. Okay. On your side, 12 James Fondas. Go. Remember, slower is better for these. You don't get extra credit if you're doing fast. You get it if you do it slow. And these are nice too because you can catch your breath a little bit while your legs burn. You can at least catch your breath. Switch. All right. Last one for this set is bunny hops. Okay, so you guys know bunny hops. Usually three, do three, three sets. Today we'll do four. You guys are okay with that. So, so yeah, I think everyone's feeling better from the start of the class. Sorry. So let's go. 45 seconds, bunny hops. Three, two, one, okay, go. We're gonna just jump rope in, staying off your heels. So just jumping on your midfoot to forefoot. Just activating the calves. Who doesn't want nice calves? I actually have a client who tells me that. My calves are too big, I don't like them. I'm like, ah. <laughs> I wish I had your calves. 15 seconds. Okay. 
five, four, three, two, one, time. All right. All right. I need a bathroom break. Two minutes. We'll be through. One last set, and then we'll dance. We're going to do a little bit of shoulders, uh, some triceps, and the rest will be uh, lower body. So, okay. All right, so this one we're going to go alternating front raises to side raises. So here, side raise, front raise. We're gonna alternate. Okay, so we're gonna do um, eight of each, or yeah, eight of each. Ready? So one, one, two, two, all the way to eight. Seven. I'm feeling good. I might go to ten. <laughs> eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Okay, glad all you guys find me. All right, so that's for our shoulders. All right, we're gonna do our triceps, and this one we could do seated. This is gonna be the overhead tricep extension. Okay, so again, I'm going to keep my dumbbells pretty close together like this, and I have them over my head. So again, they're over, so I'm going to drop them slowly, back. I'm going to do 12 of these.
Let's try that. And we could do the focus dumbbell curl. That's where we're seated here. Dumbbells all the way down, fully extended. Doesn't allow my shoulder to move. So full extension. This is the one where you see the huge bodybuilder that the gym doing for sure. So <laughs> they have this pose going. Yeah, I had 20 extra breakfast. I'm gonna just go home and eat three chickens. <laughs> I feel like that was me last semester or in last fall. Eating like four chicken breasts a day, like another five fillets of tilapia. Switch. And everyone that I knew is like, see, you get you get just as big as your wife when they get pregnant. I'm like, it's, it's like you get into the, to your cravings. I'm like, no, this is something else. So after a few few of those, I was just like, yeah, I, I just gave in to ice cream and uh, avocados all the time. I'm very glad that phase has passed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that, Terry? Let it out. <laughs> I feel like you've been wanting to say that for the last eight months. <laughs> no, no. It just recently you seem to have returned to some semblance of normal. Oh, oh thank all you. That, all that tilapia and rice and chicken breast, it was like, no. Yeah. No. Have you had any tilapia since? Um, to love, it's, it's been like six weeks. Um, uh, I was finding it, um, uh, pretty easily at, um, uh, at the Costco at Signal Hill. And then the last time I went, they had a whole tilapia and I'm like, ah, oh, like, I don't know how to cut fish or like how to clean it. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll go with chicken. So, I mean, I, I'm back. I'm, I'm doing a better job with breakfast, but after breakfast, it's, it's a roller coaster. So, <laughs> well, I appreciate your honesty, Terry. <laughs> let's go with, um, let's go ahead and do um, some chest flies. So we're gonna be on the floor. It just brought back memories for me because I remember doing that and, you know, I toned up, but it didn't. It yeah. Was, but I was so sick of all those meals. Oh. It, it was just, I was crabby. Yeah, that's that's one one thing that, you know, I, I was glad I stuck to a program. And now I was like, I wonder where I would have been if I stuck to it for another eight months. Like, you know, probably miserable when it came to eating. But maybe every time I, I, I walk by a mirror, I do a double take. Like, oh, wow, like, who's that? <laughs> so let's go ahead and do the flies. So up here, fly out, and then back. Let's do 12 of these. Remember to squeeze up top. Okay. Those are the chest flies. Those, um, if you guys have access to a bench or a little platform, um, probably a little bit better doing that on that just because you'll be able to expand your arms a little bit more. Okay, so the next one, we're gonna go with scissor kicks. Okay, so here, we're gonna go up and down and then alternate back and forth. All right, we're going to go for 45 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All 
I'll put it there. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Woo. Okay. All right, we're done being on the floor, at least until our cool down. We're back on our feet. Okay. Back on our feet. All right, so this one, we're going to do a reverse lunge pump. Okay, so we're going to be this reverse lunge position here. And then we're just going to rise back up. Okay, we're just going to stay there. Okay, so, but you got to bring that hind leg pretty far back. Okay, so I'm here and go far. And then down, up, Ooh. down. You're gonna feel it on this thigh right there. Try to almost fully extend that front leg each time. Ready, switch side, Okay, so you should have felt that there, just kind of shake off the legs. And the last one we're going to do is going to be the single leg RDL, okay? So this is one that we would have done yesterday in the lower body strengthening class. So again, this one, let's just do five regular ones. So you guys get the movement down, so again, Feet are here, slide in at the knees, almost like the hamstring stretch. Weights come down and then back up. Again, slower is better as well for this one. Three, four, five. Okay, so just five, just to get the movement down. Now we're gonna do single leg RDLs, okay? So I'm gonna elevate one leg, right leg is elevated, and just holding on. So you can hold on to one dumbbell or, or both. Okay. Down, up. And control the motion back up too. Don't just spring back up real fast. You should just take just as slow. Good and I'm gonna switch legs. And we begin. Yes. 
All right. Okay. And the last one that we're going to do is just going to be light um, hill raises. Okay. So here we're just going to go, we're just going to keep the dumbbells at my side just for a little bit extra resistance. But 20 of these, but the one to two second hold. And then just a heads up, if you guys are enrolled in any other classes or even any of mine and you guys need to be dropped um, because there's a scheduling conflict with another class that you wish to take, uh, make sure you tell me or reach out to your professors. Um, so yeah, but if there's no scheduling conflict, just leave it as is, just in case you feel like jumping in whenever, so. And then uh, another reminder on Fridays, we meet at 9 a.m. So keep that in mind. Ella. <laughs> yes, did five more of those? Just gonna check the chat. Yeah, I'll send you the link. All right. And Ursula, I just saw your, your comment from a while back about let's do some cardio in there. So let's finish off with jumping jacks, okay? So let's do 40 seconds of jumping jacks just to finish off, and then we'll cool down. Ready? Three, two, one, okay, go. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. High fives, high fives all around. Yeah, ladies. Everyone gets high five. Everyone with the camera on gets more high fives. All right, Ooh, let's go down. Don't work out, ladies. Hmm. Let's just bring it back a little bit more. So let's go ahead, bring the left heel in, right leg back, lean forward. Ooh. Make sure you stretch. Oh, okay. All right, Terry, let it all out. <laughs> Terry says she's also glad my beard is gone. <laughs> so. Anything else, Terry? Good switch. Ooh. Yeah, my wife seen me without my beard once, and she does not like it. So, so those things. I feel like I'm gonna shave in front of the baby once, and he's gonna freak out. Three or four. Left heel in, right leg out. Forward.
All right, let's bring both of them. All right, let's cross those legs, move forward. All right, let's go ahead and bring the left heel in, right leg back. Stay back. Switch. And then tomorrow we have mobility and flexibility, so we're stretching a lot tomorrow. And um, similar in the evening class too. And then I believe um, on Monday there's no classes due to. Uh, Juneteenth. So I know most schools are, are celebrating. Um, and so we'll be, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a consistent um, holiday day off. So. And then after that, I think 4th of July is the next one. So we got a couple coming. And then after that, I have a wedding to go to as well. So. Everyone's getting married. I guess everyone gets married in their earlier and mid thirties, right? So, <laughs> yeah, I have a bunch of weddings coming up. I have one in Mexico in February, and then another one next October in Hawaii. So should be fun. But all right, ladies, thank you again. Good job, everyone. Got through four rounds. It's really good workout today. So hopefully you guys started playing off. Yeah, about it. And then you guys finish off really well. Any questions before we head out? I no. guess great, great thought you had class last night. It means like there's only one other person in me there.